always looking for things that I can use in my sewing room that I can get cheaper at other places besides at a sewing supply company. But let me show you some things that I picked up at Harbor Freight. The first thing that I grabbed is this dual suction cup and it's for like lifting up raised flooring or for um, picking up and moving tile, things like that. So it says it lifts up to 125 pounds. So I figure it's gonna work okay for what I am using it for. So I can use it to hold the ruler while I cut the fabric. I think that you would end up breaking the ruler to take it off before the suction would come apart. So I think that it's going to work really good, especially for using it on the long rulers. Let me just do a video of what exactly I mean. Hang on. And I hold it. Ugh. So that actually seems like it's going to be a lot easier than just holding it down with my hand. Okay, so the second thing that I grabbed is a four inch magnetic parts holder. So hopefully, see if it holds, yeah, it holds my tweezers, my, my little scissors, my little scissors. No, that didn't hold that very well. Oh, it holds it okay, I guess. But anyways, it's mainly for pins. Um, I'm not even joking when I say that all of my pins are being used with all of these tiny pieces of fabric right now. So this would be just the cheaper version of the, the magnetic pin holders that you can get from like a big box store. The third thing that I grabbed at Harbor Freight was these latex coated work gloves. So when I was in the store trying to figure out what size that I needed, what I did was I put my hand in the glove and like this felt like it was kind of tight but I put my hand in the glove and like moved my hand around and the next size up, it was pretty loose on my hand. So the idea with this is put both of these gloves on, probably end up cutting the fingertips out just for dexterity, but put both of these gloves on and use it for free motion quilting here on my domestic. And the fourth thing that I got, which I kind of thought was a good idea, is this extendable magnet. So it extends pretty far and the plan is, is if I drop a pin or even my tweezers, cause I've been using my tweezers a lot for this uh, quilt that I'm making out of half inch finished squares. I can just pick it up without falling off of my chair. Oh, that's really strong too. I try picking up a pin. So that works exactly how I thought it would work. Those are the things that I picked up. There was plenty of other stuff at Harbor Freight that I could have gra grabbed. Um, the one that I will be keeping my eye on in the future is the interlocking foam mats that I will put around my future long arm, but I don't need it right now. So that's why I didn't buy it because I'm just kind of running out of space while we're doing this remodel. So those are the four things that I got. Let me show you some of the other things that I found in the store. There was plenty of storage options. I really don't need to grab anything out of here right now. So I just didn't pick up anything, but these um, seem like they would be good things for like storing scrap fabrics, storing little notions or sewing machine feet. Um, plenty of options here. I just didn't need anything so I didn't pick up anything. Here is the anti-fatigue foam mats that I was talking about and I, I figured that it was a pretty good price. I just don't need any of those. These are the gloves that I grabbed. They were $2.79 and depending on how I end up liking them, I may end up trimming them, cutting off a couple fingertips or you know whatever. They do seem like they're pretty breathable but they also do have like a, a bad smell like a I'm not sure rubber smell and here is the magnetic parts holder that was two I think it was 
Let's go back up here and look at it. Yes, $2.99. So you can't really beat the price of that compared to the ones that are marketed towards quilters. So the suction cup handle was $8.99 and I I actually don't, I'm, I'm sure there is an option for quilters instead of, you know, using one from a parts store. I don't know how much they cost. This one was readily available, so I just grabbed it. I did grab another electric fly swatter because they are pretty handy to use, but it's not a quilting thing. Here's a little bit more storage. And I thought that these traveling toolbox, tool totes, would be pretty good for a quilt retreat, but again i didn't need anything like that so i didn't pick one up here's some more storage for feet or notions and i've seen people use these to hold spools of thread but i didn't need one so i didn't grab it i thought that these locking clamps in this magnifying glass would be handy i was specifically looking for tweezers and the tweezers were gone so i didn't end up getting those and pegboard pieces pegboard hooks I didn't need any extra ones but they you know these are I I think that those are a lot cheaper than other places that I if I need more I'm probably just going to grab them here I just can't guarantee that they're going to have as tight as a fit as the mad tools here's a cart that is bigger but about the same price as the carts that are in the craft stores I don't have room for one so I just passed up on these as well and here's the three dollar telescoping magnet that I picked up so I hope this video helped and I will see you guys in the next one